I love a great wooden stock. There is something about a wooden stock that seems elegant and proper. It's not that I do not like synthetic stocks, but rather that I just prefer wooden stocks that little bit more. Even though I do prefer wooden stocks, there are quite a few negatives for wood compared to synthetic stocks. Number one, wood absorbs moisture. If your stock has not been sealed properly, then the stock may and will absorb moisture, especially if you use the rifle for hunting. Sometimes, if the stock does absorb moisture, it will actually remove the varnish and the oil from the stock as well. Not only does moisture remove the varnish, moisture will also damage the wood itself. Number two, weight. A wooden stock is heavier than a synthetic stock. However, on my main hunting rifle, the Browning X-Bolt Hunter, I have a beautiful walnut wooden stock on it and I hardly notice the weight difference. But for a majority of firearms, a wooden stock will add extra weight. And if you want to have minimal weight on your rifle, you probably want to use a synthetic stock instead. Number three, strength. Synthetic stocks are stronger than wood, especially with the use of modern technology to develop synthetic stocks. Wooden stocks are also easily scratched, dented, and easily beaten. But I'm one of those guys who does not mind a semi-beaten stock, because to me it means the firearm has character and a well-used life. With these points in mind, one might think that a common sense thinking firearms owner might just get a synthetic stocked firearm instead of a wood stock. But no, I understand why synthetic stocks are arguably better, but when it comes to accuracy, a wooden stock and a synthetic stock are equal. And when it comes to looks, in my opinion, a wooden stock looks 100% better. A wooden stock also arguably absorbs recoil better, mainly because of wood being heavier, but also because of the grain within the wood jiggling against one another. This is one of the reasons why a majority of clay pigeon and skeet shooters use shotguns with wooden stocks. Another reason why all my firearms have wooden stocks is because a few of them are antiques and collectibles. Synthetic stock firearms did not really start rolling out until the 1960s and synthetic stock hunting firearms did not start becoming significantly popular until about 20 years ago. However, you can purchase aftermarket synthetic stocks for a lot of military surplus firearms though, but to me, that should be considered a major sin. Even with my love for wooden stocks, I may use a hunting rifle with a synthetic stock as a backup hunting rifle one day, or if the right rifle came up for grabs. But knowing me, there's a high chance I would purchase an aftermarket wooden stock for the rifle not long after. I also feel an appreciation for a great wooden stock that I do not get with any synthetic stock. An appreciation for the craftsmanship and hard work that goes into a great wooden stock. But today, a lot of wooden stocks and foregrips are made by machines, sadly, but understandably so because of cost. I have also mucked around making stocks before, and that leads me to also point out how easy it is to mod a wooden stock compared to a synthetic stock. This is another thing that appeals to me because I like to tinker, and occasionally weld up sculptures and other things, so obviously I occasionally like to modify some of my firearm stocks to better suit me for when I go shooting. I feel that when I modify a stock, the firearm also becomes more personal, rather than just being a bush basher or something that you don't care so much about. So there you have it, my reasons why I love a great wooden stock. They admittedly might not be the most practical of reasons, but occasionally you may want looks over operation. One day wooden stocks may be a thing of the past, but with people like me, wooden stocks will definitely be around for at least a few more decades. Thank you all for watching. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell to get notifications. Also, do not forget to like this video and leave a comment. Once again, thank you for watching. I am Ben, and this is Ben Doing Things.